Greetings, welcome. This will be kind of a tutorial video with tips, tricks, advices and ideas of how to benefit the most and how to use to its best potential the upcoming 12 time class quest experience boost. As we know, it is returning on May the 4th. Today is Saturday evening and I'm recording the video two days before its beginning. Most of us probably experienced the similar event which happened in November and the very early of December before the expansion went live, Shadow of Revan. 12 time XP boost is connected to the main class story missions for all of the eight basic stories of the game, which means you can skip all of the side quests, all of the planet quests, all of the side missions, flashpoints and everything else. You can still do them, but they will give you normal experience. This event is designed in a way to help you get through all the leveling process with only this. It used to be available on Macab, and I personally, without being able to confirm that, am expecting this to be valid for Rishi and Yavin as well, if it turns to be not true, I will do my best to put an annotation here somewhere on the video and warn you guys. Up until Macab included, you should be able to get at least to level 57, 58 maybe. Because you know where the level differences uh, go above 3 or 4 levels, it's kind of pointless to keep doing those levels and it's better to skip to the more advanced ones. This event, which begins again on May the 4th because of the special Star Wars Day and the celebration, will continue until the fall. At this point, moment, we have no date or even any kind of a period selected. That's all the statement that we've received from Bioware. This event will be up until the fall. It is most likely active during the summer. Let's see. So it starts May. June, July, August. That's my prediction. My personal prediction is it will run until September, middle of September, all throughout the whole September, and it's most likely, in my opinion again, going to over by the end of September. It is only to keep subscriptions up and alive during the summer, because we all know that summer is not a good time for uh, any MMO, and since I've been here all of the summers since the game was released, I know how dead it, be, it uh, starts looking. I expect the event will be absolutely the same as before, which means it will still be stacking up with uh, the experienced boost steams. It should be stacking up with the legacy perk steams, but if I remember correctly, it does not stack with the rest of the XP. Let me try and share a couple of advices which will be mostly beneficial for those of us who are leveling 10th, 15th, 20th alt on the same server. We already have millions and millions of basic commendations and we have full stacks of them from before the expansion or even after it. We need to benefit from these. The more gear we prepare in advance, if of course we are in a hurry, the better for us. Now let me show you. This is my cross, my commando. It does have quite a lot of basic comms and I have still a few stacks left unused from different rewards. Remember the Rishi rewards, 300, uh, 3 stacks of 99s. Right, so the best way to do this is to buy gear for basic comms from the vendors on the Republic fleet. I'm talking about these vendors here. If I'm not mistaken, on the Empire fleet, the same vendors are located here in the upper left corner. If they are not here, they are in the supply section, whichever the supply section is. You know that the, for some reason the Republic and the Empire fleet are not mirrored, are not looking exactly the same way, and they've been turned, if I remember correctly, in a weird way. But that's not really important. Another thing Bauer did with patch 3.2, just about a week before they launched the 12 time XP boost, is they've lowered the prices of many of these mods. They've also redesigned, they've renamed the vendors and the content they're offering. I'm talking about these vendors again. We will go and take a look at them in a moment because I want to show to you what exactly I'm talking about. I would advise you to start preparing mods for whether it's legacy gear and you will use an outfit system that's entirely up to you, but you need shells. There are still many cheap shells. Shells is uh, orange gear or you can on GTN or you can just go purchase something for um, 
money or for credits or for special tokens on one of the special vendors throughout the world. A quick example is the Section Guard Helmet. This one is from Section X. It's a few hundred thousand credits for the full set. You see I'm using the Rakata. I guess someone would ask what is this chest. That's the old original Rakata. I have the full set but I didn't bother put it, to put it all in. Because everything else apart from the chest piece looks the same but this is like a side note. Every four levels I would advise you to buy or, or pre-buy and be available and able to switch those mods so you'll always be on level. For the 12 term XP I would advise you to do that either every four levels or at least either eight levels. People have done that with some classes without too much hassle and trouble without using any mods just uh, inserting whatever they loot from the main quest. A lucky drop special kind of uh, reward at the end of the class quest or whatever it is some classes can do without uh, special gear and extra gear other classes especially if you're not very experiencing with the class or with the game in general you might struggle so my my advice is since basic comms are being thrown at you everywhere if this is not your first thought we'll talk about that later i'm not advising you to play with 12 time xp boost if you're a new player to the game that's absolutely stupid but I'll touch that in a moment. Let's take, for example, one of the vendors. This is a level 37 equipment That's vendor. This is not the vendor we want. We, we want it. the other ones. Here is a 33 modification vendor. Regardless of the level, we want the modification vendors, not the equipment vendors. We want the ones that sell mods. You will see that all of the mods been renamed the crappy ones have been removed and now we have access to the good mods only and they're all cheap as hell you might remember that the armorings and the hilts and barrels used to cost seven basic comes now everything costs two this makes it even easier than before alive. combined with the possibility of uh, getting more and more basic comes with minimum effort this is a huge boost for the upcoming 12 time xp event all these vendors used to bear names depending on their planets. Well, not anymore. Now, now they bear names of uh, levels because now they se all sell the appropriate mods. Take a look. If you look at the level Everything 21 you modification vendor, you should see only level 21 mods. And you Come will see that these time. vendors sell mods for every four levels. It's 21, 25, on this side it should be 21, on the other side it's 33, 37 and so on and so on. I, I, be I believe I'm not mistaken by advising you to start with 13 because after getting out of the origin planet you should be by my prediction at least level 10, 11, maybe 12, depends. If you're a stealth class you might be a little bit lower because you don't have to kill everything in front of you. If you're not a stealth class like for example Sentinel or this commander that I'm using, you will be forced to kill more enemies and therefore earn more experience. But until level 13, you have absolutely no problem going with whatever I'm green crab gear you have from your origin planet. At level 13, I would advise you to visit the, Sir, not the equipment honor. again, damn Let it, the modification sir, vendor. This is one. Is and Just ready, buy sir. the number of uh, mod enhancement armorings. And most important is, oh, if you don't have enough basic comps, always start with the barrel or hilt. It is the first mod in your weapon and offhand. They're giving you basically the best boost for the price stay alive now I would like to touch very briefly and hopefully I will make a huge impact on those of you who are newer players this event is fantastic they power promised us that it will be here for a long time whether it's three four five months it doesn't really matter it's plenty of time people have been leveling from 1 to 55 within less than one day the best results I've heard on the forums and on Reddit are 8 hours. Now of course these are mostly stealth classes and very experienced players, most of them probably using pre-crafted gear. It doesn't really matter, it's extremely easy to do it and very quickly. Don't do quad drive yard. Quad drive yard does not benefit from 12 time XP. 12 time XP once again is only for the class missions, unless of course they've altered that, but I highly doubt that they will because they promised to return to us the exact same event as they did before Shadow of Raven and 3.0 uh, last November of 2014. Now, my advice, if you're a newer player, for God's sake, buy the token that the special vendor on the fleet will start offering for zero credits. 
buy that token and reject the bonuses of the 12 time XP, it's not good for you. You will skip like what I haven't calculated really, but it's at least 80, maybe 90 percent of the fun of the game side quests, side missions, flashpoints, PvP dailies, exploration, lore objects, map discoveries, planetary missions. There are story arcs here and there flashpoints with story arcs, separate mini story arcs on the different planets and god knows what else. Don't skip all of this. It's a part of the game and you will regret not going through it if it's your first playthrough. Yes, you can have a character from 1 to 60 and brag about doing that in 1, 2, 5 days, whatever. But you're a subscriber. This event is only for subscribers and you're paying money. You're paying money not to get to 60 and brag about that on, on this forum or on that forum. You pay money to enjoy and you won't enjoy with your very first character if you skip 80% of the content that you're paying for. That's my personal advice. Maybe it's because I have 18 characters on my server and I will definitely benefit from this event. But I've been here since November 2011. I've gone through all of the possible quests. I've done absolutely everything. But OK, like 99% of the things available in the game. And I don't really need to go through them for the 15th. So. 16 20th time whatever this is one of the most stupid advices i've ever heard one of the guys from the community container tour event that was happened that happened um as a part of star wars celebration in anaheim one of these guys that were hosting the cantina he advised new people to try the 12 time xp boost event for fuck's sake don't do that this is pretty much it. That was my basic advice. I think the video went for a little bit longer. I'll see if I can re-edit it to make it squeeze to about 10 minutes. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any more useful advices, please do share them with me. All of the eight class stories are fantastic. Some of them are more fun than the others. But you have plenty of time. And if you enjoy them, I would advise you to go through them once as a light side, once as a dark side. You will see some incredible differences here and there. They are not completely new stories, but the major changes for some of the dialogues and the stories are really interesting. That's my take. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching the video. I'll see you with the next one. My Patreon campaign it is an absolutely voluntary and optional way for you guys to support and back me up. By becoming my patron and pledging monthly any small amount, you're directly helping me pay bills and purchase hardware upgrades. Depending on your contribution, I have a special reward for you. Early access to videos, behind the scenes materials and special in-game items. Thank you for considering becoming my patron. Remember, you can find me also on Twitch, Twitter and Facebook. For my non-Star Wars activities, I invite you to subscribe to my second YouTube channel.